One of the biggest traits that I want you guys to develop, and I screamed this in numerous videos, is self-reliance. Self-reliance was something that saved me. It helped me get through numerous, numerous, numerous situations where it was literally only me. And I had to have the utmost confidence in myself, utmost belief, relying on everything to get through it. And I want you guys to develop it because you develop your self-reliance. You develop that trait. You cultivate it. You nurture it. You hone it. You then allow it to spill over into other aspects of your life. So when people don't believe or people are flaking on you, they're not showing up, it doesn't make a difference because you know what you need to do. You're not seeking external validation. You're not seeking or you don't need external motivation. That's why I say, don't get motivated, get inspired. Motivation is short-lived. Inspiration lives on. I don't want you guys to have to solely rely on this quote, this motivational video for you to go and get on the path and do what you need to do. It doesn't matter if there's no quote, I'm not making a video, what's going on, you know the responsibilities you need to take, you know what, how you need to give it up, you know what you need to do to get close to the goal. And why do I even use the gym as a tool to get you there? Because it's you that has to get up when that alarm goes off every morning. Make it a tool. The body game and building up a physique, that's cool, but, but that's very, that's surface, that's, right, that's topical. Let's get deep with it. How are you developing this body? How are you going to get practicing the body game? It's going to take resilience. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort, patience, discipline, knowledge. You want to start jujitsu. It's going to take time. You want to get good at it. Patience, checking your ego, checking emotions. You're going to suck for a while. <laughs> but you keep on coming back. You develop all of that and then you allow it to spill over into other aspects and parts of your life. Then you really become an animal. You really become a problem now. So that's why I say use it as a tool. Sure. The gym isn't just to get swell. It's a byproduct of it. It's the bonus, but it's a tool to help you develop these things that can then catapult other areas of your life. That's what keeps me going. That's what gets me out of bed to go ahead and do what I need to do. Because like I said, if it was just the surface that I'm just thinking about, oh, cause let me just, let me see how much more jacked I can get. That, that's not enough. Let's get deeper with it. Every time I get up, like I said before, it's getting me closer to the goal. Every time I get up early, Don't miss the wake up time. It's cultivating a better man. And I want you guys out there to to cultivate a better version of yourself. And you're constantly working at it, working at it, because it's not a one and done. This is lifelong. In all aspects, we're just talking about the mindset and the physical, but it's the spiritual, right? It's the financial. Because as you're leveling up, and you're allowing these things to spill over to other parts of your life, everything needs to come up. And if there's a weakness, you got to check on it. And this is when that reliance does come into play because only you know and truly know and understand where you want to go, what you want to do, who do you want to become, If you are not the most excited and the most motivated and the most inspired, you, you cannot expect anyone else to be for you. You have to be the most motivated. You're self-motivated. You're getting motivated internally. You're inspired internally. You're relying on your own energy, your own vision to get it done. And if you are not your biggest fan, your biggest cheerleader, whatever, how do you expect anyone? No one else is going to be that for you. And if they are, great. But if they're not, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. 
because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do anyway. So the next time that alarm clock goes off, the next time you think you want to skip out, understand you're taking that step back from the bigger prize. I want you guys to really build that self-reliance because when it is just you, when it's, by, when it's just you alone in your own thoughts, there's nobody around. It's up to you. <laughs> it's, it's coming back to you, guys. Right? When, when all this is, when this camera goes off and there's the likes and all that, that's gone. And it's just me and my thoughts. It's up to me. What's my next step? It's up to you. What is your next step? When you have those moments when, and that's why you got to start silencing everything. That's why being in solitude and being alone is important. Not being lonely. You're not a lonely person. Okay? You have your family. You have your this. You have your that. That's fine. It's not about being lonely. But you have to enjoy being alone. Meaning, you have to listen to yourself. You have to be able to be still. Be in silence. And whether within that silence you are working on your business working on on yourself, which is working on the business. Aspects of your personality need to work on. What are my weaknesses? Where am I lacking at? Really doing a self-audit. Being in solitude. There's a book called, um, it's called The Book of Five Rings. Miyamoto Musashi. Uh, I've read that book. It's a quick read. It's about, it's like the memoir, memoirs of a samurai, one of the best samurais of that time. But he even talks about the art of walking alone. And that stuck with me years ago. I don't know why. Like I was just in Jersey reading this book. I'm like, why is this sticking with me? But it's being able to be in your own company. You know, silencing the TV, silencing the phone, getting rid of those external distractions distractions and just I know going within I say that a lot but it's, it's so powerful you got to go within a lot of times we try to find the information or the or the answer out there somewhere externally where when a lot of times the answer is within us we're just getting distracted so much we can't hear it start going within Start being comfortable being by yourself. You know, like you should be able, you should be confident. Like if you wanted to go out by yourself, you, should, you don't need to have a whole crew with you to go out by yourself. You don't feel confident or you feel uncomfortable that if you're alone, people are looking at you weird or this or that. That shouldn't, like. So I want you guys to start thinking about that, being more self-reliant and start working on that. You know, it's not about alienating your friends, your family. It's none of that. It's just understanding that you have to be at the helm of your ship. You're, you're the captain of it. You're steering it. You're in control. And what are you going to do with that? So I'll leave it with that. I don't want to be so long-winded with this video. We got more coming. Let's go.